from here. So what's the plan? Half-Life Alex is a stunning VR game which is only available on Steam. It's not available in the store for the Oculus Quest 2. I'm going to show you how you can play it and any other Steam VR game on your Quest 2 headset for free with no cables. It's as easy as one, two, three. It's unloaded now! You are going to need one, a Quest 2 headset with the latest updates installed, two, a Windows PC, which will pass the requirements to play VR games, some free software, and three, three. the game itself. You're going to need to buy that. Oh God. You may also need something called Virtual Desktop if that setup doesn't work for you, but we'll get to that and hopefully you'll be okay with the free stuff. Okay, let me take you through this. Ew, scary. Shh, it started. Make sure your headset is fully charged and you are connected to the internet. Go into settings, system, and check for any updates. You will also need to go into experimental and enable Airlink. I also recommend setting the refresh rate to 120 Hz for the best experience. Now let's jump over to your computer to see if it is powerful enough to run VR games. The reason your computer needs to be powerful is because it is going to do all of the processing for the VR game and then it just sends the screen to your Oculus 2 headset. Install Steam and run the Steam VR performance check. I have speeded up the sequence here. Click on show details for more information. You can see that my computer is more than powerful enough. Now let's install the free Oculus desktop app. I'll put the links in the description, but basically go here and click on this and then install it. Once installed, fire it up and look at the top. You'll notice that my laptop doesn't seem to be compatible with the Oculus desktop app. Clicking on the link is somewhat confusing as it takes me to Oculus Rift specifications and my graphics card is listed as being compatible. My advice is just to crack on and see what happens. You will need to tell the app which headset you are using and connect to it. I already set one up previously, so let me remove that and re-add it to show you the process. Let's jump over to the headset and enable link. We will get a pairing code, which we need to accept on our laptop or PC. Once accepted, our headset will launch this new environment. I'm going to reduce the size of the display on this video because the recording quality wasn't great from the Quest headset, but it looked fine when I was wearing it. What you need to do next is click on desktop at the bottom here. And that is my Windows 8 machine. And I've got full control over it from my headset. All I need to do is launch the game. I'm going to jump over to the laptop to do that because it's just a little bit easier to type.
And there we have it. The laptop starts to run the game and it sends the screen to the Quest 2 headset. You'll notice on the left, we've got this now playing window. That doesn't appear on the headset. Neither does the start menu or the taskbar. All you get is the VR game. This now playing box is a little distracting. So I'm gonna throw a black box over it to cover it up. Ah, okay, let me put something else over it. When I first tried this, I got these weird controller overlays. Lots of tutorials on the internet suggest that you start messing about with bindings, but that's not what worked for me. I found a tutorial in the Quest Home, and then that resolved the issue once I'd clicked through it. The last time I played through this, about a month ago, the performance using the free Quest software was shocking. It was disgraceful. It was unplayable. So I was pleasantly surprised to find out it worked when I started to record this video. I don't know if there's been an update or if I was just unlucky, but it just works. It's fantastic. It was really smooth and looked great. I'm going to show you a little bit of the gameplay I recorded from the Windows laptop and then talk you through how to use virtual desktop if the performance isn't good for you using the free software. I would say it is essential to plug your Windows machine into your router using an Ethernet cable. I tried mine wirelessly right next to the router and performance was massively degraded using an Ethernet cable. Good, Dad. Metrocock movement is normal. Same for the combine patrols. How's it going in the stockyard? <laughs> One combine mini reactor from a ship in the 4,000. They're never going to miss it. Here, see for yourself. <laughs> if that doesn't work out for you, you are going to have to install something called Virtual Desktop, which isn't free which is fair enough, but unfortunately, there isn't a demo. You will need to jump over to the Oculus Store and buy that on the Oculus Store. You will also need to download the client for your Windows machine. There is a client for the Mac as well, which will allow you to broadcast the Mac desktop to your Quest 2, but you can't use the Mac to play games or send video. Launch Virtual Desktop on your Windows machine. Check for any issues which might interfere with its performance. 
connect it to your headset and then play the game as before. I don't know whether it comes across on this video, but playing the game using virtual desktop, I found the colors and the graphics far more vibrant and just more detailed and better quality. So I was pleased I bought it in the end. But if you're happy with the free way of doing it, or maybe you can't tell a difference, it's just a shame that there's no demo for it. Anyway, here's some virtual desktop gameplay. looking up there it's good dad metro cop movement is normal same for the combine patrols how's it going in the stockyard <laughs> one combine mini reactor from a ship in the four thousand they're never going to miss it here see for yourself and not only that someone's hacked into the combine construction network don't get greedy guys we're not made of time here one minute and i'm out guaranteed Oh, also, I spotted the Combine moving supplies into the quarantine zone. That place has been deserted for years. Hmm. That is odd. Uh, well, well, we're looking through it when we get back. What is it? Meet back at the safe house, baby. We'll be there soon. It looks like... What is it, Russell? Would you... Terrific. <laughs> 